YouTube, I'm back with another reaction. So we got this hot topic in the world right now. Something went down on Talia James stream with Talia James sister with Michael Randy Jr. AKA Tyreek St. Patrick, AKA where's 22, AKA Mr. Make beat for Wolfface Joey. So we finna see what the fuck going on. Talia fat ass sister got, 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 a little bit besides herself in that room. Y'all get ready? Yeah. From what I seen, but we finna see. Hey, come on. You want the latest new everyday? Oh, it's a young aunt and then the crazy white boy. I forget his name. But um, there's another guy here. His name is Ty Ty James. And so that a video ugly. went viral of him. He's in a room. There's a bunch of little kids there. Um, I guess his homeboys are there. But then... Michael Rainey's there. Michael Rainey is a well-known um, actor. We all know Michael Rainey Jr. Um, from the show Power. He was also in Power Book Saint 2, Patrick. Um, Ghost. And so he's a very popular actor. And so he decided to go on stream with this click. And the young man, uh, Ta'il, a.k.a. Ta'tai, his sister's name is Jagi. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But as the video goes on, um, she starts grabbing on Michael Rainey. And he clearly looks very, very extremely uncomfortable. Um, Chinese Kitty's there as well. I'm not sure why she's there, but <laughs> she's there also. Nah, she threw that in the And so the whole baby. thing is just really disturbing. And so she's just acting out. She's grabbing him. Then she ends up saying something about a banana. And that ends up being like the final straw where they put her out of the room. So I want you guys to watch these two clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Everybody in here has worked the job as more than a million dollars. Y'all never worked. can't even see That's shit. That's my comment. I got to get it. Y'all in here has worked five minutes of max in here. Y'all did nothing. Everybody in here has worked the job as more than a million dollars. Y'all have never worked. Y'all never did nothing. Y'all literally have five minutes of max in here. Then y'all gotta get out, okay? Five minutes? You know how much five minutes is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, no, they, they've never worked. You gotta think. They've never worked a job, but they can party with us. Yo, anybody need water? Anybody need water? Now we go, bro. Okay, but towels with them. Hand the towel. Shut the fuck up. Chat, word of my mother, I'm trying to literally ignore this shit. But I'm getting texts. The energy shifted and niggas just got up and left. Like, all that shit really made me, like, all those side of shit really made me feel away. Because, one, when people come, this is your crib. His sister is in there touching straight dick. That's what happened. I would have told her that. I would have been like, move your fucking. I would have slapped her for me. What the fuck wrong with you? Man, tell her to get your sister. The fuck she on? She here grabbing straight dick kids right here. I'd have told him. I would have said that. I'd have been like, nah, we ain't doing that. That's sexual harassment. Like, what you what you want? Like, you feel me? Like, this man is a is a very known person and you in here touching on him like that. As if a nigga okay that all. Oh, let's just be honest. If they was just in that room, Michael Randy Jr. still probably wouldn't have wanted that shit to happen. It was just them two. Now, if it was a little patty in that bitch, have it your way. Hey, look, it's a walk of life for everybody. Just because that don't happen for you, that don't make you less than that person or make you more if you could. But let's just be honest here. Nobody's wanting that action from no nothing like that. Big girls is out of control. I'm a fat nigga myself, but big bitches, they out of control. And we need to stop them because they got too much confidence when it comes to this nasty shit. They think everybody want them. Everybody don't want them, and every nigga ain't trying to get their meat sucking. Every nigga don't want them to come out strong. They want the bad bitches to come out strong. The little chubby, the little, the little chubby girls, the little skinny girls, the little slim thick girls. They want those girls to come off like that. Not the big, bad built, wide, just fucking truck low couches. Just wide bitches, a fucking island. Like the bitch back so big, it's just the bitch laying in the bed and the bed cough. You don't want them big bitches just doing anything to you. And 
as as a former as a former chair member of the fat community, I have here to come to Mr. Mike Randy Jr. We apologize on that fat bitch. You know what I'm saying? We apologize. You know what I'm saying? She was out of control. You know, us fat people, we tend to over exceed our boundaries. That's why we're fat. As a as a high chair member of the fat community, I would like to apologize on her behalf. Talia, you're not doing it right. You're trying to save your sister. We're not saving his sister over here, though. Talia, please understand this. You need to check your sister. You can bring your sister back on another stream, but you need to check her. Don't touch on nobody that don't touch on you or that haven't okayed for you to touch on them. Because now, if your whole plat, your damn near your whole platform is in the hands of the fans of your shit to fall, you better hope they put it on to your sister and go put hate to her. Cause if they, if they, if they, if Mike or Randy don't do nothing about this, cause it's dooms for this nigga. It's gonna be fat bitches all over America grabbing this nigga when he out. Talia, your platform, Dan Lily, probably crushed in two pieces right now, nigga, because your sister couldn't control herself. I tell niggas all the time when you doing any type of work or business, do not let family get involved. Sometimes they be having people around you who want to come to your family and find out the real you. And you've been hiding yourself on the simple fact that you got to do business right here. That's why you don't do that. All that trying to be an open book and all that. I mean, that's cool. Be truth. Be yourself. But if you want to make it to the tippity tippity top, the real you is not going it's not going to go up there. It's, it's just and if it do go up, there, it's not going to stay up there. You feel what I'm saying? So. All that bringing your family in and all that. This the type of shit you be up against. Family fuck sh I'm telling y'all. People always think it's good to have their family around. No. It's good to go off and have good friends and good realities and have your solitude and your peace and walk alone. And you go visit your family. Because one thing my, my dad always taught me. Your family would do it to you the worst. Because they feel like they know you. They a family don't understand that a, a human being changes every three years. They change their personality. They change their reality. They change who they are every three years. Literally, this is scientifically proven. Harvard studied a human being changes every three years. The mindset, the the around them, anything like think about the people who work jobs for twenty years. They literally changed every three years because a new flock of people, new supervisors, everything came in. That's why they held up to so high a standard when you 20 years in in the fucking job. They looking like, boy, you did it. So with this situation, I feel like Talia need to come see his sister down in front of the world and check her. And she need to come. She need to apologize to Michael Randy Jr. on camera. You did that bullshit on camera. So you need to apologize to that boy on camera. And Michael Randy Jr., I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. I ain't really in the, in the business of pressing charges against no black woman or no black people or no shit like that. So. You know, I don't think you should press charge, but you do need to, you know, do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might need to run a 30 or some shit. You know, big bitches can fight niggas. You know, we look at big bitches like niggas. Big bitches can get this fade. You know what I'm saying? We don't want you to think that this big bitch can't get this fade just because she a female. No, no, no. Once you ate that 100 cheeseburger, you crossed over the line to a nigga. So you have to be dealt with as a nigga. You a big bitch. You getting out of control. We have to bring you back down to reality. Big bitch. Big bitch. Um, What that shit called? Big bitch ram. We have to bring you back down to the big bitch ram. You went up to the skinny, petite, chubby, little thick bitch ram. Bring her back down to the wide back, big back, couch potato, big bitch ram. She's wilding the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? We don't want her to do that. Now, we don't want to be mean on my channel, but I feel like she needs to hit this because big girls get out of line sometimes. It's niggas like Talia who want to be the big brother of the year and save him and not tell him like this. Don't do shit like that. As a big nigga, I, if I wasn't married, I could not go out there and just go to a flock of skinny bitches and be like, which one of y'all trying to fuck? They going to be like, get your fat ass on, fat boy. I can't go in a fucking in a conversation of 50 big dick niggas in here and tell me, yeah, I got the biggest dick of them all. They probably tell me I piss on my balls when I piss. You know why? Because you're fat. Stay your fat ass in your lane. It's a fat nigga lane out here. It's a fat bitch lane out here. 
They got they got they got celebrities that like the fat bitches round pay after twelve. They got skinny niggas out here that like the you know stand your ramp. You have to stand your ramp. It's niggas like Talia, Talia who get famous and shit, and he could go around the celebrities. Now he trying to bring his whole family around the celebrities. No sir, that's not happening. Now if you so happen to get cool with the celebrity and they would just come around, okay, cool, but. As in, as in, this man come and fuck with you on some New York shit, and your sister then grabbed his dick on camera, saying, "Give her a banana, let her show." Like, first of all, your mouth is fresh off a fucking cheeseburger or a pot of fucking chicken. Nobody wants that type of head. See, that's that's why niggas don't like fat bitches, cause it's it's, it's always fresh off of food or fresh off of doing some nasty shit. I'm a fat nigga. I know this. Fat bitches don't like fat niggas because they got titties. Nobody wants them titties clogging up the sex fucking thing. Come on, man. I'm just keeping it real. It's about hospitality. That's, that means everything. Stop telling me to ignore it because I don't try to ignore it. Y'all dick riders was spam. Titties in relationship with Donald Trump. Clip that. <laughs> My okay, look, 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 look. Clip that. We got 4,000 views. Look, 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 Oh, see, she doing all the licking tongue shit. Nobody wanna fuck her. Nobody in that room was thinking about that. We got fifty-four thousand views. I'm doing anything for clout. I'm trying to go viral. Let me make you go viral. You got a banana? Oh, it wasn't me. Get out! Get out! All right, so you guys just saw that clip. Now, I take a lot of things away from this. First and foremost, his sister is way too fucking comfortable. That's not her first time doing that. And I would not be surprised if she was doing that to all of those young men in the room or has done it to all of them at one point in time. Second of all, what's very bothersome is that, that there is are powerful. little girls in the room. And one appears to be about maybe three to four years old. So now I have to question. One of them is probably her kid. She has a kid, they say it. And what is going on in that household where a young Look girl this feels man. like it's okay to grope Look at this nigga. And what is going on in that house appears to be about maybe three to four years old. So now I have to question what is going on in that household where a young girl feels like it's okay. Get your to fucking mind somebody. right there. And then the brother's response to me He's was. He's standing there like you cool as shit. She didn't put pressure on your head. Disgusting. His response was very flippant, dismissive, and almost, you know, accusing the audience of overreacting. So I want you guys to listen to what Ty Ty has to say about the situation right here. <laughs> That shit really got me really feeling the way because, bro, I be around celebrities all day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when I first started being my, my first few celebrities, don't even know I do unusual shit. No, no, no homo. Like, nothing crazy. Like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'd be trying to record, get a video, a picture, whatever. But due time, you feel what I'm saying? That shit don't really mean nothing to We all eat, we all the same. But she never seen somebody that cal caliber. But she never seen somebody that cal caliber. So she start. You feel what I'm saying? And that's my sister. That's so like, I'm not gonna say nothing bad about. I'm gonna just check. I'm this is the one of the dick in the mouth, nigga. That's what you're not saying, nigga. Your sister was fainting. Every Sunday, you feel what I'm saying? I got people family Sunday dinner shit every Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? I got people telling me you gotta be aware who you have around when these have you come. Why should I? We all equal. Cause you at work. You. Kyle, your best friend, he do this. You never see his whole fucking family in the fucking house. You barely see his family in the house. His, ha his family is tucked away. You got your family as if you in this bitch and they the celebrity guest, nigga. You fucking up. You don't want the top, nigga. Well, got a mutual agreement and it's about respect. Shit got me dumb mad, bro. Like, where I'm real shit. I, nothing got me, nothing ever got me more mad than this, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys just saw that video. His response was very telling. The fact that he's saying that his sister has never been around somebody that caliber, that is bullshit. I don't care if she's around Michael Jordan or Michael Rainey. You keep your hands to yourself. 100%. Now, let's say 
if the genders were reversed, right? Let's say Michael Rainey was groping on the sister and, you know, putting his hands up her shirt. Nobody would excuse that. He'd be ready to whoop Michael Rainey's ass. So the fact that he's trying to excuse his sister and saying, well, she's never been around that type of caliber person, to me is bullshit. That's assault. What she did, she had no business touching on his private area. And we all know that Michael Rainey's mama don't play about him, okay? That's one thing she don't do. I think that he should definitely press charges. If the Nah, don't don't take it that far, my nigga. Get one of your cousins or something to whoop her ass. I I or don't worry about it at all, my nigga. Don't 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 press charges. Don't go that route because bro, niggas say, bro, I swear to God, they got people in this world who be thinking. Telling is going to always fix something. You know what really fix something? Growth. Leaving that shit where it's at and moving on. Don't go around it no more. That's really what will fix the problem. Because if we was, if, if, if Jesus Christ and God was down here, they, they sales, it wouldn't be no, no police and all that shit there because he know the corruption going on in that shit. Pressing charges on that girl going to make that boy a career fall clean in a fucking hole. All a black he his whole black audience is gonna fall. Say my nigga, just leave it alone. Just look, boom. Come on now, girls touch your dick all the time. Just look, man. She good. Y'all chill on that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Don't even speak on it. Keep pushing. Let them have that little moment and shit. You too big for that. If I was in that nigga corner, I'd be like, man, look, let that shit ride. Don't even speak on that shit. Leave that shit on. That ain't the first time a bitch to touch on your dick. You that nigga. All that come with that. Let's not try to act like you ain't never had your dick grabbed on by, you know, bitches. Like, that's come with all that shit when you was in there po practicing them lines and all that shit. You should have knew all that shit come with this. This the top. We're stop putting yourself in those rooms if you want to put some type of, some type of dick, some type of, you know, consequence to that. Have ability in yourself as a man, my nigga. Like, don't go in that press and talk. I'm telling you, Michael Randy Jr., I know you're going to see this because I'm the most famous motherfucking YouTube in the world. And I know all the blogs finna kiss this and they finna make it go viral. Do not press charges on that girl. That shit going to hurt your career. Move different. Do not fault Talia because if Talia knew his sister would have was going to do that, he wouldn't have let, 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 let her do that. Do not break that relationship. Because one day he's going to be a big streamer and you're going to need that platform when you're pushing out a movie. Think smart. Don't be letting these people around this bitch tell you to do all that dumb ass shit and have you fucked up out here. Have some common sense. All that press charges and shit. Like, say, my nigga, one thing I know, them tables going to turn. One day your ass going to be in that same seat for some bullshit. That's just how it go. That's why I'm telling you. A nigga like me, I wouldn't have spoke on it. I just would have told myself. I'm not going back in them type of rooms. That's just what it is. Talia, for you to come over here, you got to come to me now. Come to my spot, set up your shit, and we record. I'm not coming over there to your spot because you don't know. You ain't got no control over there. Nigga ain't respecting you over there, so I'm not finna come over. I got respect and I got, you know, I got structure and discipline up in this motherfucker, so you good. Come here, set your shit up. We record. We rock out like that. All that. That's what I always preach that to people around me. Say, my nigga, if a, you ever bring a nigga around your people, your family, and your family disrespect that nigga, and that nigga came through you, that nigga is not the bitch. You the bitch, because a nigga shouldn't have felt like they should have played with a nigga like you brought around like that in the first place. A nigga like me, if my family do that, I'm checking all their ass. Man, y'all got the game fucked up. We ain't doing it because this is my reputation leading out this door. When he go back around, wherever he going back, where he saying, man, when I went over there with that nigga Kez, man, they play with me like that. Nigga gonna be like, man, I'm not going, I'm not fucking with kids like that. He he be letting niggas play with him. They be they be setting niggas up. All type of shit get to start throwing on your name. Now you just hold who dirt ass towel rag that's in the bottom of the fucking rag bucket. When you could have looked, man, hold on, hold on. We ain't doing that. We ain't finna do that. Come in, I I would have asked him what happened. You could tell me, bro, what happened. What, what happened? What, what it was? What, what, what happened? Just let me know right here. He had to tell me out of boy her ass in that room right now. Tell him you tell him, apologize. Apo apologize or I swear to God a nigga done with you. You not come around this shit no more. Straight up. Apologize. And I would have made my mama and all my sisters get on her ass like, man, stop touching that man and this bitch. You tripping. And I would have told Michael Ranager, man, if you know, if you won't leave, you feel violated, my nigga, I respect it. But you know, I ain't know all that was going to go on. I wouldn't ever put you in this predicament again. They got Chinese, Chinese kitty in there. Then they got her big ass in there. Now, if Chinese kitty would have did that, oh, niggas wouldn't have said nothing. Niggas would have like, yeah, she grabbed that bitch. 
But it's like, come on now, gang. That girl had to, that girl, that girl had to know niggas didn't want her touching him. She had to know that. Ain't no way she didn't know that. She tried that shit. That's what happened. She fucked around and found out. Now a nigga finna hit you with a whole charge. Or, or possibly. See, a nigga like me, I'm telling niggas, do not, when I blow up, all that, see, I don't even play like that. The only people that's going to be around me is people that work for me. My manager, my assistant, my security guard. The only person that's going to be around me that don't work for me is my wife. That's about it. And probably sometimes my brother. But all that. Yeah, I, I probably have like one or two of my cousins that they come around, you know, if a celebrity in the room, but them going to be cousins who could control themselves. And them. Everybody in that who I just named is subject to. Y'all ass get to acting up. Y'all get moved the fuck around. I don't give a fuck. And it ain't going to happen off, the, off camera. It's going to happen on camera. Whatever you do on camera, you will get dealt with on camera. If you do some bullshit on camera, you getting fired on camera. If you my family, you do some bullshit on camera, you getting your ass kicked the fuck out on camera. Control yourself. Have self-respect. If you ain't got no self-respect, don't even come around me. Cause you're not finna get beat up. You're not finna do none of that. You finna get moved the fuck around for life. Yeah. You gonna be one of them niggas that I used to be. Yeah. You're not finna get harmed. You're not finna get hit. You're not finna go to jail. You're not finna get, you get moved the fuck up. Cause see, people don't understand that. People think if you beat a nigga up or a nigga go to jail, that hurts people. No, all that do is make a nigga build energy up towards your ass and you wonder why everything going wrong. You know what hurt a nigga the most? Rejection. That's why every man don't be want to holler at every girl. That's why every woman want to look good when they walk out the house. Rejection. You know what turns a well, you know what turns a human being to a hater fast when they can't get in, when they don't know the lingo, when they feel like oh I don't know what they talking about. So I'm gonna move you to fuck around, yeah. And they gonna be like man, yeah, we going out, man. That nigga ain't hit me up to come out. He don't want me to come around no more. Man, fuck that old bitch ass nigga. Get yeah, what a nigga had to think back in their mind when they by themselves though. When I was wrong for doing that, I can't even act like that wasn't bad blood that I put out there. And you gotta watch from the sidelines now. Everybody turning up, having fun, buying shit. We around the finest parties, the finest cars, the finest people, the f loads of money trips. And you gotta watch from the sideline. No, he can't come around. That bullshit that he pulled. Mm -mm. And anybody that bring him around, you subject to. Yeah, you subject to you. You acting like you. You got that pull like that. Cause see, they got people like that, man. I'm gonna bring you around. He gonna let you come around if you. Guess what? You gonna have a good time that day. But when that motherfucker over, that nigga that bought you, you in him. Cut the fuck off. I hate people like that thinking they just got this pull. If you, no, nigga, I just said I didn't want that nigga around this shit. Now if that nigga go jump with another click and he so had, okay, that's cool. You came with them. You ain't come with me. My people, they could be cool with you, go to your, but when it's time for these cameras, you're not wrong. That's, that's Talia talking about something. That's his sister. Man, stick by your sister, Talia. But at the end of the day, no will come with that. If you're a real nigga, my nigga, wrong is wrong. Straight up. I don't give a fuck who did it. Wrong is wrong. Straight up. If Michael Renner was in that bitch leading your sister on and she did that, and he tried to play that, okay, cool. Had your sister back, but my nigga, wrong is wrong. I don't give a fuck who did it. If a child do wrong, a child need to be get dealt with as they dealt wrong. So far, if they say the wrong shit in front of the wrong person, that's wrong. You ain't staying a child's place. That's wrong. That's what a wrong at. If you violating this man, touching on his private parts and shit, because Wolf Face Joy grabbed him like, oh, shit. Like, oh, shit, you really don't want that to happen. Oh, I'm, he probably thinking like, oh, he just got motion. Like, I see, then he looking at him like, oh, shit, you really just got violated. You really don't like that. You really don't know what to do in this situation. Man, come on, man. Genders were reversed. Everybody would be telling the girl to press charges against Michael Rainey. 100%. And a lot of people trying to make excuses like, oh, well, he was laughing afterwards. That's called being uncomfortable. And I told you guys about my situation that happened a few years ago when I was taking a picture with some people. 
And somebody's husband felt that it was okay to start feeling on me and grabbing my ass as we're taking the picture. And I'm literally standing between him and his wife. And if you see me in the picture, I look like I'm cringing but trying to smile. It was extremely uncomfortable. And a lot of times you will kind of laugh to try and play stuff off because you don't even know how to mentally handle it as you're going through it. So sometimes the only thing you can do is try and laugh and play it off. I have been in this situation and this was definitely very, very triggering. This girl is trash for that. And I don't know how old this girl is. I don't know if she's a little girl. She's, you know, in her 20s. But this behavior is trash. And the way that she felt so comfortable doing that to a celebrity on camera, it wasn't like, you know, this wasn't being filmed. She knew that they were on stream. The fact that she did this lets me know that she's done this before. She gives me predator vibes. And again, people can be predators. All right, see, now she's going too far. She gives me predator vibes. Man, she, a woman can't be a predator. What was you talking predator about? vibes and again people can be predators regardless of your gender regardless of your religion your she race doing too much she's taking it stuff. personal so i'm not she's talking from a person that girl is not no predator so that girl just seen michael and jenny fanned out because he had all these excuses for his sister earlier this morning but now that tmz are all jumping on this story because michael rainey is a pretty big celebrity so now that the white mainstream media is jumping on this now he wants to issue an apology and he just issued this apology about an hour ago so let me go ahead and read this apology for you guys he says after the actions that occurred during my stream last night, I would like to sincerely apologize to Michael and his family for what took place. My little sister was completely wrong and out of line. What she did was very inappropriate and unacceptable. I am truly embarrassed and disgusted by her actions. I completely respect whatever direction Michael wants to go in this situation after watching the clip. I was completely taken aback by what she's done. I will take extreme precautions with future streams to avoid similar issues. I have banned her from participating in future streams. I do not condone any type of assault. So that is what he just wrote. Um, he's clearly trying to distance himself and walk himself back from this situation because now the backlash is starting to get bigger and it's all over Twitter. And to me, it still comes off as very, very insincere because this should have been your response initially. It shouldn't have been, oh, well, you know, my sister's never been around that type of caliber. That is BS. This should have been your response initially. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And the fact that you were trying to defend this foolishness and that you saw nothing wrong with it initially lets me know that either your PR team got on your ass or you're scared to lose your money and your connections. But this is not the same energy you had initially. And this is just insane. And I'm not blaming Ty Ty because like I said, I've never watched this young man. So I'm not blaming him for his sister's actions. What I am blaming him is for his reaction because for every action there's a reaction and his initial reaction to the situation was not okay because i can bet you if the genders were reversed and this was done to his sister he'd be ready to fight so the fact that he had all these excuses for his sister to me does not sit well with me the fact that this took place in front of small children does not sit well with me because now it makes me feel like well what is actually going on in the household that you guys are not bothered initially right off the rip when it comes to sexual assault I mean, you could see he clearly looked uncomfortable and this is not okay. And a lot of young men go through this, you know? So like I said, as a boy's mom, this is very disturbing to me where a lot of young girls think they can put their hands on guys and, you know, behave towards them very, very sexually and grab their junk and it's supposed to be okay. But again, if the genders were reversed and this is a guy grabbing on the girl's boobs or ass, it's off with his head. Nobody should be touching anybody, male or female. Keep your hands to yourself. Unwanted touch is not okay. So she needs to check herself and her behavior needs to be checked. And honestly, I feel like Michael Rainey should press charges on her because again, if the genders were reversed, people would be telling her to press charges ASAP. So that's my personal opinion on the situation. His apology, while I do feel like it may be heartfelt, I also think it's a bit too late um, because your initial response said a lot without saying a lot. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, tea sippers. I want to know y'all's opinion on this disturbing situation. How do y'all feel about this? And do you agree with me that if the genders were reversed, nobody would be making excuses for this young girl? Nobody would be talking about, oh, she's just happy because it's a celebrity. If the genders were reversed, Michael Rainey would be catching hell right now. So I want to hear from you guys. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.
Then did it pop up? <laughs> did it will pop up, huh? That shit crazy, man. Man, Mike ran a general don't press charges. Tyler, keep your family out the motherfucking business, nigga. Stand on business, nigga. And you know, yo, catch y'all in the next reaction. <laughs>